o parle de huti na ndi huti ke tekele ratelle eh ara ta malaneng ke tekele ratelle eh ya rape modi mo raitso le modi mo morwa le modi mo meyo gana lela le moli helo le o rota fita le go mpeno re tsireng ano hapelega botsadi jo bo re kopileng go ta go kopana le bone ka kwa me ba le mole pateng le ke utla le ntsele ka iwa le bidiwa ka le ina le le golo la la tshile le ka kwa go ba bitla ra ja go kopatsa bona le tsa go rotse le le rona mo thutong ye ya ka masa a sile jana enne go lo mo go ta reng a parelang go ya botsa go teng ga rona modim me ke go le mo ke reng ke la letsa mo rena yo go ma go di modimo go tsena mo teng ga re ga rona go tla o bua sente le rona go rendela kitsiso le kitso le go tlhane ngwana le mogolo ba tlo ba ka o ikemogelela tse di ka ba bolokang mo rena modimo yo o tshela le bona o ba nyenyane yena tota ba ntsimba go a go aba ka re modimo re ba etele ka botlhane ka go re ko go si jeso o na tsalwa o bo nyenyane ba go ta busa le hatsi mme ra bona gore ke bona o ala ba re na le bona modimo go reta la pele mo le go go la matshwane mo rena modimo ga se se pele ke botlhane o ta buitse ala botlhane mo go ba ba tsa ba jo la botlhane ba bo le ruta gore se mo le se mo sa rona re ka moso se be sa tere tshiamo o la tshile ka kwa ra u le rona sa mo khalwa le modimo ja go kopa ja go la letsa ha u tshwanya le molapo o mo khalwa le mo rena modimo o phela ka re bothe ba ba sa ntseng ba tla ba nele ka le ratola se moya gore ba tla ba itheletse ba tse ka tlhamallo se ka nna se se ja lo mo mmu e nna se se ja lo ng mo le tlhakurin le ka se go mongele le bogolo se ka se pega bitso la go jesu christ mo re tsari le mabodi ba rona amen a pelo e ke tsa ka bolela ke a le mo ga mesta mo mo le batsi o mele ba nta ta khanyete tore bana ba ba tho ala o wane ba jala mo go phongo nosi a re kopane eh di pesale ma ba tere tere ba re go di pe a re betse na re mo go di pesale mo ba tere tere bana ba mona motho ala nosi ba jala mo go phongo nosi ala la वेलकम टू माई फ्रेंड चैन फंड Um thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Good now so. Good so much. Yeah. Fine. Without the mic. You can about the the audience here on. So we will decide together as a community decision can I rebuttal mic can I without the mic. I give. Yeah. So kya bolta hai? Ya utha. Utha se. Hello about the mic I give. Uh, so now I give the mic and for the MC and the music. Now give us great. I give. Yeah. Nothing between us. No technology required. Thank you. If you if you are if you are hiding you can't hear me. Can you talk again? Just give me some mic. One key. Yeah. Okay, so One key. Introductions, welcomes. I think we've been welcomed to the farm. Uh I think we know where we are. Um na kibido a guy william okay kinako gaps motwani um i think some of us we know each other we've met before on previous workshops for those who haven't yet met me that's my name guy okay do you why you should mind just a guy 
Kali kita kibu kibu situ anak nyana, hari hari kita sen sen kelas. Okay, so kita buat sekolah situ anak English itu. Okay, situ English. Lagi. Jib so touch you. Okay, so touch translate nyana. Tapi mic touch us up. Okay, and also remove. I'm not here. Hari hari mu tu sih. Sorry, muriti. We are in a community. We are learning together. Okay. So, so it's a both of both both of us. Okay. Ask questions. We are in a discussion. How is that kind of thing with the people? Okay. Um, and we go together like that. Okay. Remo. Remo. Natalo. Natalo. Thank you. Okay. So. I've done some stuff on the board. We will come back here and work in the shade and discuss some of the theory and the the academic. Okay. Let's get onto the activity. Let's go and work with the land, work with the thing. Okay. Let's get confused mm. so that we get questions and ideas. Then we come back and discuss. Okay. I give that area similarly school work. Not even school long. We more workshop, work shop, work kitty. I give action. So that is similarly action. Then bring up work. Then yeah. Then when the sun is high and it's getting hot. Again, this will be on the board the whole day. Please don't worry. You're not going to miss time to write it down. Not we think. Tabala. With, with plenty of time, stop your type snapping, okay. and if you need to, they can click it or you can share it on uh, WhatsApp. Okay. So this is not going away. I'm not going to rub it off. So don't be worried about writing down all the things. Okay, it's there. If you need it, you can get it. All right. So home day for Ribuaya cover crop. Okay. Oh, oh, so, okay. Cover crops. Okay. So the the basis of everything that I'm doing here. I'm a consultant. I'm helping Matwani farms to develop their systems, to develop the design, to develop the farm in a way which is following permaculture principles. Okay. The very foundation of that is ekolomu. Okay. Look after the soil. The soil is the foundation of everything. Okay, all life, all economy, all happiness, all everything. Okay, so that is under everything. Whenever the question is, why are we doing this thing? I guess. So when we talk about cover crops, it's one of the one of the strategies, one of the actions we can take to look after our soil, improve our soil, to improve all the other outcomes on the farm and in the village and in the city. Because let's be honest, Kaboni, Diamond Trading Park, Pakalani, uh, all of the fancy stuff does not exist without somewhere, some healthy soil producing food and clean water. Okay, so. Everything starts with the soil. So that's what everything you see here, what we're doing, we are trying to look after the soil. Okay. Let's go on the land. Let's start here by the table. So we're talking about cover crops. I'm going to show you what we're doing. We're going to do some activity, putting putting uh, our hands on the soil, putting seeds in the soil. Okay. Okay. And then it's going to be confusing. You're going to have questions. You're going to be angry with me. Why are we doing it like this? this? Is not how we do it. Then we come and have a discussion. Then we can talk on the board. Okay. I want you to be thinking, asking questions, challenging. I give. We're going to be seeing some stuff that is like this is not how we do it. I give. Then we're going to discuss why are we doing it like this, not like that. How can we do it? Better? We are learning together. Okay. Let's go. Let's go and see. So, 
See what is going to be practical. Revelers start to run water filling. I want to run water filling. What are you doing? Hey. It's like all, it's like they are wrong. Something we are bringing from outside. 
is our special thing from here. Right. And we want it for our grandchildren Angie. because we are losing these things. Yeah. I guess. Because you don't find this in, in, in Choppies, you don't find this in Woolworths, so then we think, ah, it's worthless. This is food security. This is soil fertility. This is livestock food. This is so many things. Without irrigation, without plowing, sensei say, but we are losing it. I guess. Yes, yes. <laughs> Ranim, <laughs> Yeah, as it goes, Mona, as it goes, I will go to the other side. I will go to the other side. I will go to the other side. I will go to Kona <laughs> 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 Too much. 
bona le mokwa mote mmo ha o ka thubana mokonya na o mote ono o dilang gore nne se eh ke dilo tse nna ke ke di thutile ke hadisi ya no mo ile ke utso gore ra itso ba re ba tlhoka gore ke nne teng ka be ke ke eletsa gore ke nne le bone ka gore le bone bona le se ba se ba ta mo go nna bona le se ba se ba ta mo go nna le nna go nna se ke se ba ta ngo Talo <laughs> Ebe kona le murukuru o mona magadi o ene ngore o tsala ditapo sonetse mme wena o bona le riku ga o ka go a itse gore se se tona yana ke se 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 ga di tshe sengwe ndra eh ga o mpotsa ke a go bolella ke be ke a go bontsa gore se ke sone se o ka selemang e bile ke sone se o ka tsang di kumo tsa sone o se ka go tsala sende sintsi sone se tsare tsotsi Kola <laughs> Yeah. 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 I'll catch it later. Yeah. I'm the only one who, who doesn't understand fully.
Agora não se é. What you what is trying to say is, sale kang ko si kausa ko ba? What ko ba lahat? Wa ba ibira ko na kone mushufu ibira ko na kape na kone bufe ko rin ko kone ko ato magabi. Yes. How So how how we eat that? Obora or plastic ya ka kote ya sile le di teng le so le le ka le le ka hate go na le mo go shipdi wa go di e kgona gore e ranye ge plastic me tsi a kgona go feta ka gore e ka ba ri e tu e ka ba ri e ka ba ri e di di ba plastic ya ri ya be me tsi a tse e di tsang ga go mwana mogatlana na ka ri o mo o tshana le so o se o mo ga ka ntlo ga ya o ha e di be di di tshana le tsi a le yeah, I want to see them jump in with another activity. So we've got this sack in Yama, okay? Now, let's cook some of these, okay? Okay, so we're going to take Ritaja. Okay, so we can remind ourselves. Okay. Very good, very good nutrition, especially for Very good for Very good for Very good because since we should be talking about this and this video yeah. so let's eat it together. Yeah. Yeah, let's yeah. not just talk. Rija, yeah. Rijual. This is first time. Hey. <laughs> He's just a lawyer in his spare time. This is actually what he does most of the time. Yes. 
Yes, yeah. this Maya. Yeah. Even this one, we can also plow and go out with the bird. Yes, there's a lot of bird. Bird. Yeah. Bird. yeah. So, some of us are going to be able to do it. We're going to be able to do it. We're going to be able to do it. Yes, yes. We're going to be able to do it. Yes, yes. Yeah, he's only a lawyer in his spare time. This is actually what he does most of the time. <laughs> that looks dangerous. Yes. Yes, I see. Um, you're already having so many skills, so many knowledge. That's why I was saying. Somebody who has done this before. Uh -huh. oh, and you teach us. And then they take maybe something like half a pot. They're going to say, oh, so in this pot we can do this much. And then they start the process. See what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. It's this that we want to. What I want is to, to rub a little bit of this in, mix it in. So, but the thing is, I don't want to kill all these worms, you see? So, the what I want is this without the worms. Um, because this really is going to give us a lot of a boost to the fertility, even just a little bit. I'm wondering if we can't... We need to harvest it. Someone needs to be harvesting. Yeah, so let's do this. I've got an idea. No, 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 no. We're going to just put it in one. It might be like I'm thinking. Oh, yeah, you can look at the world. Yeah, yeah. You can handle it. Be, be gentle with it. Um, really? What I'm going to do, I'm going to harvest all this. I'm going to do a little bit of a liquid. What is this? A minopi. It's a worm. You better get that side. We can do that side in the box and see. Well, they're very important, and that's why I want them to, to remain here to continue working. They are producing. Yes, they are the ones who are producing. So this is the after they have finished. Like this used to be this, and yeah. then the onions and the veg scraps, papiri, yalo yalo. Yeah. So they are the ones who have been eating it. Now this is their manure. 
I think we talk about small stock. This is the tiny stock. Okay? They've started with the tiny stock. Eventually, one day, maybe they can go to Dipudi, uh, Yadu Yadu. But for now, they've started with the tiny stock. And I'm sure they can, if people are interested, you guys can do it for look and, look and learn around the, the worm farm. Yes. So for now, I want to. It's like we're collecting crow manure right now, but I don't want to take the cows and the body and mix them in because then they're not going to eat them. That's what the ladies are doing. Just they are rubbing until there is a hole on the hard shell. Mm -hmm. the, mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. Yeah, she was my translator by the way. She helped. Oh, me. She's called you. Linda. You're called Linda. Yeah, and she's Linda. Thank you. Thank you. That's very helpful. Yeah. 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 I <laughs> <laughs> I <laughs> 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 So minopi, minopi, worms. Worms. Yeah. I want to do worms. Yeah, he wants to do worms. Yeah. You heard there was money in it. I want to do this race. Yeah, they're in there. I was told you there's a lot of money. Ah! I'm chasing money. This guy. Zaka. 
What are the ingredients that you put in here? Coffee grounds from me. After drinking tea. Yeah, tea bags. Yeah. How how does this come from the the, the, the animals? These animals. Um, they, mm -hmm. develop, they develop from where? Yeah. They come from where? The ground. They will come inside automatically. No, no. You have to get some. Oh. You have to buy some. Like 50 no, that's that, that form, that formula I want to do. I, I will come, I'll come and sit down. Uh -huh. I want to... Yeah. I'm interested in this. Yeah. This is what I do in Germany. In Dutch, okay. I have like a big, big setup. Hey, is there somebody who has done this before? Can you teach us? They take maybe something like half a pot. They're going to say, oh, in this pot we can do this much. And then they start the process. Yeah. See what I mean? What I would like to do, what I want to do is set this, say, give me no okay? okay, but it's, it's this that we want to, what I want is to, to rub a little bit of this, because I don't want to kill all these worms, you see, Totehela what I want is this without the worms, um, because this really is going to give us a lot of a boost to the fertility, even just a little bit. So I'm wondering if we can't... We need to harvest it. Someone needs to be harvesting. Yeah, so let's do the switch. I've got an idea. No, 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 no. We're going to just put it in one. It might be like guys. I'm thinking, oh, yeah, you can look at the world. Yeah, yeah. You can handle it. Be, be gentle with it. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to harvest it. What is this? Minopi. It's a worm. Mm. Well, they're very important, and that's why I want them to, to remain here to continue working. Yes, they are the ones who are producing. So this is the after they have finished. Like this used to be this, and then the onions and the veg scraps, papiri, yalo yalo. So they are the ones who have been eating it. Now this is their manure. Okay. So ki 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 boloko ya minoko. I get. And this is very very good fertilizer. Very very strong fertilizer. Um, full of the community, the soil community, which is very good for fertility. So what I'm doing, I'm leaving the worms so they can continue working. These are the livestock. The livestock. These are the komo ya matwane for now. I think we talk about small stock. This is the tiny stock. Okay? They've started with the tiny stock. Eventually, one day, maybe they can go to Dipudi, uh, Yalu Yalu. But for now, they've started with the tiny stock. And I'm sure they can, if people are interested, you guys can do it for look and, look and learn around the, the worm farm. Yes. So for now, I want to, it's like we're collecting crow manure right now. And I don't want to take the cows and the booty and mix them in. Because then they're more likely to eat their work. Oh, so what Look, we did... Wow, inoculated already. Yes, yeah. That's what fantastic. We, did, we just took like a quarter of a tub so we separated out the worms took a quarter of a tub of, of the actual fertilis the humus um, which is full of all the microbiomes that, that, they, that, uh, that the worms basically curate and then I just filled it up mixed it got it all liquidized and poured that into the half bucket and then just mix that so now you've got a coating of ino inoculation over all of that seed so a tiny bit goes all way yeah. um, just mix all of that so we've got these mixed bags of, bags of seed uh, batches of seed and then each you know each little crew can take one of those and then we're just going to go and plant a couple of seeds nice soil is disturbed it's exposed so what we're trying to do with the cover cropping with the cover cropping on these disturbed areas. Tantile, 
Mr. Adira Mo de Kemp. Okay? But for now, we want to get something to start growing on this pear soil. Okay? They started doing this already, you can see here. They've started growing. Okay? So, for Mike and some other teams from the VDC, I believe, mm -hmm. and from the city group? Yes. Yeah. But the receipts, the budgets. Okay, one, two, three, four. We can even go and look there at the other places. About how long ago was that? A week or two. A week or two. Yeah, okay. yeah. ten and days. We've maybe. already got germination. We are rushing to plant because Fulayet. Okay, so we waited for a little bit of rain so that we could see Fulayite. Yeah, then we're now planting because we know it's coming more. All right. So, Ijuetwe. We're going this side to a place where we are starting to new plants. Okay. And if you'll help me translate. Yeah. We are trying different styles, different techniques, different ways of planting. Okay. <laughs> Twenty-six minutes. Twenty, to oh, to plant and no, to, to dig all the. Oh, the how long did it take you to dig? Maybe ten minutes. Twenty. Yeah. From end to end. Yeah, one hundred and ten meters. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It took me this morning fifteen minutes to put all of these holes because I just walked that way, walked this way. Yeah. I just walked up and down this thing four times pulling this. Okay. And I'm sure I put maybe at least five times more holes. Okay. So I've been able to put more holes, more places to plant in a quicker time because I'm using this thing. Okay? So it was much quicker and we get this pattern where it's the regular pattern. Okay? We are trying. Okay? We are learning. We are testing. We are going to compare when we use this as compared to that spacing. What is the effect? Okay? Yourself, you're welcome to be 
Yeah, okay. If you want to do a bit of a gym. I'm here to learn my part. But less expensive. Yeah, it's hard, but so it's, yeah, it's hard, but we have to learn. But I like that. Yeah. Follow you. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. So, so this thing was homemade. Somebody mm. left it at my yard. Okay, I found it. I this morning I found the holes were too close. You can see I used a hammer to bend those hey, other ones hey, okay. to make fewer holes. Oh. Because I found. No, no, them to be very close to each other, eh? Fewer holes, fewer paper holes. Okay. Hey, hey. But then when you want to load it on the vehicle or carry it somewhere, you just remove that water now. Okay. Okay. And you can see, those who know you, everybody can know somebody on the side of the road who's welding. It's easy to make. You can make this big and pull it behind the vehicle. You could make it bigger, pull it behind the tractor. Mm -hmm. this, I know here, we are working with people, thank human you. power. Yeah, thank you. The technology is appropriate for a person. Okay. So, what my invitation is to you is this is what we're doing. So you can see there's one, two, three, four lines. My suggestion is we put one, two, three, four teams. Or four people. That's per row. Okay, one per row. Yes. All right. And we're going to start at this end and we work systematically in that direction because you can see the hole. Then what we're going to do, you're going to try and put a few holes, a few seeds, just, just a pinch. Okay. The mix seeds Again. Okay. And we are laying. Okay. And you're going to ask why we can talk about it here, we will also talk about it under the tent in the shade. Your mind might be fighting it, you might be having ideas, why are we doing it like this? Okay. And then from Kumrago, maybe another team member is going to come. He's a, he's a with the feet. And you're going to be singing and dancing. <laughs> You're going to be covering, you're going to be giving energy to the person who's working hard in the front. Yeah. When that person is tired, change out. Okay. I don't go next. I guess so. Team one. Team two. I need a supporter. The baby speaker. Uh, where's the baby speaker? <coughs> oh. Where's the baby speaker? It's in the house. In the house. It's back in the house. Yeah, BK2. Yeah, BK2. Yeah, BK2. Yeah, BK2. Yeah, BK2. Yeah, BK2. Tell him to bring the microphone. Well. You can run over to him. Run over to him. You can, you can run over to him. It's okay. Huh? Oh, he says he's okay. I mean, two seconds. Oh, he says two seconds. <laughs> or if they want some music, they can have some music. <laughs> Mr. Matabele, sir, what team are you on? Oh, you're cheering them on. Uh, <laughs> careful of the thorns. Oh, sorry. <laughs>
Oh, you're stepping on the holes with the crazy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, well, you must tell people if you if you like what you saw today, you should tell people. Yeah, yeah. We need help. We need support. No, I'm going to tell my. I'm going to put you in a group. Oh, good. Hey, hey people, you really are behind this new guy. Is good. <laughs> Let's go and learn every day. Yeah. He's there to teach, to learn both of us. We're going to learn from you. We're going to learn from us. Yes. Yeah. No, we're just here to teach yeah, the teachers. Teach each other, We've got to teach the teachers. Yes. Yeah, so we've got to teach each other. Yes. This is our land. We have to work on our land. Yes. Yeah, we need to teach BK over there and Mike and Dipsy. And then they're going to teach other people. That's good. Mm. I'm not do my group. More than these people. People are going to be a lot of them. We can knife them in one way. They just say, hey, we need to grow. I get it. Botswana now is stopped the importing vegetables yes. from South Africa. Now everyone is trying to go into farming mean, because of this challenge now. But you have been not knowing how to go around it. Mm -hmm. You are here, my brother, and I like that. I need mean, to learn from you, you have to learn from us. Yes, absolutely. The voice of us, we are going to be together again. Yes. Yeah. We're going to teach each other to go forward together. Yes. Thank you, brother. Now we learn from each other. Yes. Thank you, man. Thank you. Yeah, of course. Hey, Leah, I got a Lindsay, the 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 major lit. Mahabu haga yana, mahabu haga yana. Arjima mahabu. Arjima mahabu. Rajabu ne, lim mahabu. Skala wala mahabu chaban. Warda yana ko kumara. Irda yana kila kuli kuti me muli ya mahabu. Oh, oh, you're stuck. <laughs> Will these umbrellas survive the Kalahari, Mike? Will these umbrellas survive in the Kalahari? I think they're going to be ripped up. By next year, they'll be ripped up. Mm-hmm. You good? Can you give me some shade? Yes. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs>
Oh, more seats. All right, so let me go back. Wow. Yeah, I saw that. Thank you, Juliet. Thank you so much. So we agreed to eat soil, sand. Because they said we are rocking this. Yes. Because it cooks in the sand. It goes in the sand. You cook it in the sand. So uh, they trying like to. To roast it? Roast it, yeah. Oh, so this can crack. So yeah. Oh. Mm. I mean, mm -hmm. I think I can handle that. Besides the smoke, yeah. I can handle that rest. Oh, As wow. for the smoke. Mm -hmm. Here in Uganda. He's rating. He's rating Uganda. Chai. Yeah. Chai. What's Machai? Yeah. I don't like you. Oh. So Machai, like what is he saying? Like when you. No, no, no. I want to know correctly. What's that? It's the name of the orange monkey I hope orange. I wasn't making us say something of No, 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 monkey orange. Mon monkey orange. There was a monkey orange back there. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to my channel, friends. Darling, love and cooking. Welcome to my channel, friends. Love it. 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 <laughs> You're the main star. <laughs> Yeah. What were can we have some observations, some challenges, some complaints about what we did that time? What what was strange about what we were doing? When a brother, if I may ask again, I want to know on average, as we planted that, that's it, yeah? on average, how long is going to take us to know this whole one week, two weeks, one month, on average? Yeah, it's going to depend on the rain, right? So I would say 
if you're planting at this time, we should know within a month how if, if, if the rain has come on time because we're doing dry land. I guess. So the thing that is going to get that system going is going to be the rain. At the end of the day, we don't control the rain. No matter how we plant, we don't control. Right? But if you are, if you are to if you are doing irrigation, mm. now that if you are doing yeah, within, irrigation. With Vinawa and with from what I've seen, you should see germination within the first week. Uh, by two weeks in, you know if you're getting germination, if you're getting response. I've got some a field where I'm working in Boate where we've got some irrigation. And what I've seen is if I'm planting uh, in the crop with uh, Nidhi, Nidhawa, Squash, they have different germination plants. But usually what I see is the bean is jumping first. Yeah. And the maize very quickly as well. And then the squash takes on or pumpkin. Um, Butternut, they, they take about closer to two weeks before you start seeing them. So, was there anything uncomfortable, unusual that that we did there that, that you thought this is it's not going to work, this is not right? No, it was good. Yeah? Nobody thinks we're planting too close. Yeah, I thought so. Too close, and it's also been sticky. We have to bend it, and then you could fix it there. So I'm too tall. Okay. So, Ron. Yeah, like uh, there's something I was worrying about mm -hmm. because you were flowing by the water is passing by. So I thought during the rainy season, water will there, but they will be planted there, so what are we going to slow the, the, the growth of that crop because they are not water plants. Mm -hmm. That's the problem, I think. Okay, yeah. so you're worried that there's going to be too much water there? Yeah, and they want to, to get to the, their ability to uh -huh. slow their growth. Okay, yeah. interesting. But anyway, no, I like it. I like it. Anything else? I believe plant when when plant into the rice. Okay. Okay. I'm just remembering. Then we will discuss them. I'm, I'm gonna, people are asking questions. I want to keep questions rolling. Imoeka uh, hai. Kahaki and Kilo <laughs> The Yolette <laughs> <laughs> 
the second. They are in the Tiran Namant. Our corners are your very well. So, your lace here, and what that about the injury, who can leak it late, no way. Okay, I think let's let me before we maybe when we start talking, there's other questions can come. Okay, so let me see if I can remember the questions. And so let's work backwards. I absolutely hear you. I'm not sure if we have put those seeds deep enough. Okay? We were trying, we are testing there to see can we make lots of holes, okay, with that roller, and to see if we can get that pattern to plant quickly and closely. And we're going to see. Kitabor. Okay. Kana Medzi is going to wash it. Kitabor. Okay. We will learn. We'll be watching that. But I think you might be right. Maybe they are too shallow. Mm. Not deep enough. Mm. Okay. Um, in terms of coming back to the water, the two water questions. Okay. Our observation here is, and the guys from the farm can confirm. Last time we had what about thirty millimeters mm -hmm. rainfall in one day. Yeah. Yeah. And there was some water there in those swales. BK. How long did the water stay on the surface, like as a as a puddle? Less than a week. Less than a week. There were still some puddles after a week. Okay. Were were the puddles big, or how how quickly did they? Because my understanding of especially this sand, that water goes down so quickly. Especially here on these sandy areas, down where the clay soil is, maybe you're going to find it there for longer. Okay, but the way these swales are designed, and especially on this soil, we are expecting that water to go down. It's not a dam. Okay, asimolapo. First of all, it's not going to flow. Okay, it's not a dam. We are not trying to hold water there. Hari batle ribona meti. Okay, ribatla meti tatsenya. Momo, okay. So if we are finding that that water is standing on the surface too long, it shows us that we need more um, the soil needs to be open. The way we're going to open the soil is Okay, so riabula mo limiti. Okay. The, the the small insects uh, okay they're gonna open okay and as that drainage increases we don't want to see water standing there for more than two days because these things are for pushing water into the ground not for so that we are not here for going on boat trips it's not the other yeah. Okay. So we are not trying to grow rice there again. So part of the reason we are planting these crops, or the main reason, is to work on the soil to make sure that it can drink quickly. All right. So hopefully we should see. Maybe there are going to be some small areas where the problem you're you're expecting might happen. Again, we will learn. We will see. But from what we've seen so far when I was digging on that other swale, I found the last rain was more than a week ago, we were saying. Yeah. Okay? Of significance. And I was finding the water, it was dry, for about 10 centimeters, and then made it When I. Bokhor. the word. When I dig here, I can dig this deep. Okay, so we can see that that thing is catching more water and it's going down. Okay. But the top is dry, dry, dry. So that's also a problem because we want the moisture to be closer to the surface and to be available to the plants. Okay. 
Your question, what reminds me? <coughs> hey, okay, so why did we put moisture on there? I think you didn't see what I was doing. I took the compost, manure, yeah, no. Okay. And I was mixing. That compost, that manure, it's got a lot of, now I don't know how to translate this. There's a lot of life there. There's a lot of, um, Okay. So what I was taking is a small uh, and then I was spreading it over all of those because we only have small amount of compost. How do I make small compost powerful and go far? I mix with water, I spread it. Because it's the life, it's not the compost. That is the, the important thing. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So we call it gazeroi inoculation. Okay, Hakitika, how to translate that into Sotwana. But when we are taking a little bit of life, we are putting it there with each seed. It's the community. Okay, Fertility comes from the community in the soil. Because fertility is not nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium. I see NPK. These are minerals. Okay, fertility is the living community in the soil, the bacteria, there's many, many, many millions of different uh, uh, types of, of uh, living things which are actually trading and making those nutrients to do the work. Okay, it's a community. It is a, it is a, a, a um, an economy. More, more. Okay. So what we are trying to do is to give a boost to that community. We are putting doctors, lawyers, policemen, teachers, That's the community we are putting in the soil. Okay. Alimi. We are putting the positive actors of that community. We are boosting them in that soil. Okay. So that when the rain comes, when the roots start asking, hey, kikupa nitrogen. They are going to start trading. Okay. The way I think of it, keep a little more water. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey. Yeah. Adi. Yeah. It's life. Yeah. 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 The spirit world is there. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No. So, to this question, are we not planting too close? Okay. What the hell are we are planting much more closely than we would be planting in the field if we were growing for crops, I guess. The reason is we are not planting for us. We are feeding the soil. Yeah. Okay? We are putting food to the soil. We are feeding badi Okay. First of all, we start by putting food and energy for that community. Then that community will start. Then we plant. Next year, next season, when we see, ah, now it can really catch. Oh, we've got another MC on the way. Okay, so the other thing I want to just. Okay. okay. Just to remind us, when I say, oh, when I say carbon, what do we plant? Starch, sukiri, energy. What do I say? Energy. Okay. Remember, the plants are taking the energy thing. Energy can't be again. Energy. Ah, okay. like they fix it into sugar, sukiri, starch. They use it to build the body. Okay? But also, they are also feeding that community 
here. Okay? So they take that energy, Bata, Sukiri, Omo, community. Okay? The plants are feeding the soil. Okay? For so long, for agriculture, what do we learn? The soil feeds the plant. We have to pour chemicals on the, on the soil. To, we have to feed the, the, the soil with chemicals to feed the plants. No. The plants feed the soil. Then the soil feeds the plants. Okay? It's a community. So what we are doing, when, especially on these areas which are impacted, they are, are disturbed. We have to start by feeding the soil. Okay? Okay? Sukiri, there's the liquid carbon, the liquid sugars, which the plants are putting through the, through the roots. Okay? Okay. Inspiration. Okay? Spirit. Spirit. Okay? Okay? And then uh, the plants, the, plant, the body of the plant, okay, that body of the plant, it's starch again, okay, that thing which, the skeleton, which makes that plant stand up and hold the seeds, it's also another carbon, it's another starch. When that plant is finished and you cut it or you push it down, or something eats it and puts it on the ground, it becomes another carbon on the soil. Then, especially if the animals are stamping, it's like this. Okay? This is another form of sugar which is going onto the soil. It now to build that structure. Okay? Soil structure. Okay? It's, is that soil hard like concrete? Kana is it like powder, like like the sand? Okay, we don't want concrete. We don't want sand. We want an open structure which can hold water and which can feed the community. Okay, so what we are doing when we are growing these cover crops, as the crop is growing. <laughs> During the growing season, while those plants are, are growing, okay, they are putting energy into the soil. By the time they are finished growing, we can cut them, we can stamp them, okay, or we graze them. And then the manure is going to go. Yeah. Okay? They're putting that carbon on the surface. Okay? That thing it becomes a sponge. We start to build the sponge structure in the soil. Okay? That sponge is what is going to allow us to move. Straight through. Okay? It's not going to just evaporate to the sky. Thank you. So that is why we are feeding the soil. We are planting close together because we're not trying to harvest for ourselves. That's not how we can. Maybe we are going to, but it's not the main reason we are planting. Okay? We are planting to cover the land. Okay? Okay? Because when they are growing and when they are like this, okay, to hold the moisture. When the rain comes, it can keep that moisture in. Okay, the more water, the more carbon, the more life, the more fertility. Okay, we are growing fertility. We are feeding the land. That is what cover cropping is about. It's about building soil structure and fertility. Later, when we see this soil is now improving, Okay? Kana pastures. Okay? Cover cropping, we use it to improve for agriculture and for pasture. Pasture So we are using the plants and then animals in order to improve the soil to grow the whole system together. Okay.
Mm. It's about covering the land. No. no. So that's why we are planting so close, and we plant a lot. Okay. Because we just want the life to start. Khape, one more thing about that. Dinawa, what do we know about Dinawa? All the different tea plants and the legumes. What's nitrogenic acid? Nitrogenic acid. Love. That's what? It's in your nitrogen. We've got our technologies today. Yeah, it's a very Nitrogen. Nitrogen. Nitrogen is what? Nitrogen. 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 N
what we are really looking for is movement. If you don't getting 5%, it's okay. If last year you had 0.5 and this year you have 0.7, it shows umutene. You're going, you're getting there. Okay? So what you want to see is a change, a positive change. So what you would see without spending money on these things, you would dig, you would find, is my soil holding moisture longer than last season? You're, do, you're watching those crops because the other thing is these crops, the ones we are planting as cover crops, are also food crops. I give. We're not just planting other crops which we can't use. These are food. We're just planting in a style for a particular effect. So when you see those crops doing better and better, this season I'm expecting these, these plants not to be so healthy. They're going to do something, but they won't be great. When you start seeing year after year, these crops are doing better and better. That's when you can see, yes, ah, it happened to him too. This was the second time. Yeah, ah. they, they're all doing that. Um, <laughs> Thank you, Pastor. We need to get our money. For the Bahura Bala money. Thank you. So, it's not a So, can we translate that maybe to make sure that that's shared with the group? That what we're looking for is improvement, and you observe and you're watching those crops. Okay. Tarotologi. Yeah, yeah. Tarotologi. Yeah, yeah. So, your question. And did I answer it? Yes, you did. And then, and then maybe repeat your question and we answer as you understand. <laughs> You know, you said you need to, to measure your carbon. Oh, yeah. You can measure your percentage of carbon in yes. the soil if you have the money. You see the responses because it's 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 a it's a it's taking long process. Mm. It, it it may not be ideal but for most of us. It might not go quickly. No. You don't get here's the thing. You can go fast for a very short time and then the system collapses. Okay? Or you can go slowly at first and then go forever. That is the choice. That is the reality. To go fast uh, for a very short distance and then collapse is what we are doing when we plow and we put chemical fertilizer. Okay? Most of that fertilizer is not going to your crop. Most of that fertilizer is being wasted because it's going straight through the soil or it's being evaporated into the air. And the more you put, the more it becomes poison on your land and also in the groundwater. Okay? So that is the quick way. And we all know anybody who's tried it, it lasts maybe five years. And after five years, you want to sell that land because you're frustrated. It's no longer growing what it did in year one or two. That's what everybody all around the world is experiencing. Okay? So we can go fast for the next five years. And then you can find another place to farm. Because that land is dead. Okay? Or we can go a bit slower. And we can gr grow real fertility which lasts. Which you can rely upon year after year after year. And you know that when your grandchildren are there, food will still be coming out of that ground. That's what we face. Those are our options. So, yeah. You can use a little bit of fertilizer if you are really careful with these systems. 
But you have to be very, very careful. And you put in much less fertilizer than you think you need. The, the, the people who are studying it, yeah. But we're using the Minopi, so we're building our own fertilizer too, at the same time. Yes, there is, there is a, an extent to which the difference is you can't just buy off the shelf right, right. now an organic fertilizer. Well, you can. You can get OFMB, right? Organic fertilizer manufacturers, Botswana. There are some guys who are making a mineral organic fertilizer product, which is not, it's based on kraal manure. Okay. Um, so it's an organic product and it doesn't have the same problems as the chemical fertilizer. Okay. The crucial thing here is fertilizer is not alive. It is not part of the soil community and it, it kills the soil community. Those chemical fertilizers, the, the NPK in the powder, <coughs> kills the community in the soil. Okay? So when your soil is dry, it kills your crops. Okay? When, when you get too much rain, it washes through and you lose it all. And it becomes pollution. Alright. Whereas what we're talking about is building it and it burns the structure of the soil. All of that carbon, all of that sugar. When you add fertilizers, it burns that all away in one season or two seasons. So as soon as you start using chemical fertilizers, if you're measuring your carbon, your carbon starts to go straight down. And you end up with this. Very quickly. Okay? It's happened all over the world. Okay? Everywhere that we are doing this, that is the result. And here in Botswana, especially because we have very fragile soils, it happens quicker than anywhere. Okay. Um, and do we want to have more discussion on that? No? Okay. So, you can see I work backwards. Those who were here, the first thing they saw me writing this first, I give. Yeah? This is the, for me, this is now the summary of cover cropping. What is this? Why do we do it? How do we do it? Okay? So, what is cover cropping? Or what are cover crops? Any plant that adds fertility to the soil. Okay? Usually, we focus on grains, legumes, and root crops. Okay? Because those functional groups, those groups of plants, do most work quickest for the effect that we are trying to, to have, which is again to cover the soil, to open the soil structure, and to add carbon, okay, and nitrogen, alright, but you can pretty much use any crop. Something like Moroho is probably not the best cover crop, because the other thing with cover crops, you want hardy plants, you want plants where you don't have to irrigate, you don't have to look after, you want field crops, okay, which can be dry land. So usually we select things like um, hardy, yeah, usually hardy annual plants, which are cheap, um, and from functional groups like sunflower, um, uh, uh, maize, sorghum, and so forth, and uh, legumes, binawa, and then radishes, and some of the root crops, okay? Um, we want plants that cover the soil surface. We want plants that hold the soil with good root systems. And sometimes these, most of the time, we use crop species. But some of the time you can use cover crops which are not eaten by humans. Okay? You can use some other grasses as cover crops as well. It's part of the mix. Okay. Why do we use cover crops? We're trying to improve the soil structure. We're trying to increase, the, increase the, the, the soil fertility over time without using the chemicals, okay? We're trying to reduce the erosion. We're trying to reduce evaporation from the soil. We're trying to provide forage for livestock, okay? Um, we're trying to increase the diversity of different plants in that field because with diversity comes strength. Natural systems, just like in social systems, okay? We're trying to reduce the cost. So what we were talking about is we're trading money for time, or time for money, in some, to some degree. 
Sometimes we want to see a quick result because we're trying to make money quickly. But it means we have to put money in. With these kinds of systems, you need much less money. Sometimes you can even spend no money if you can find ways to get seeds from your neighbors or seeds that you grew yourself. Okay? Um, increase the independence uh, of the farmer so that in time you don't rely on AgriVet, you don't rely on BAM, you don't rely on uh, Ministry of Agriculture in order to grow your field year on year. You are self sufficient. Your community becomes self sufficient. Okay? You don't look outside to grow your, your land. Okay? Increase local food security. Remember, these, these are going to help you grow your crop, but also they themselves are edible. So you can still get a yield for yourself, and in time, when you're planting properly in terms of a different planting spacing and different crops for direct consumption, you're increasing your food security for your family, for your local community. Okay? And then keeping the land living all year round. Right? We never leave the land uncovered. Whenever you see bare land, it is dying. It is starving. Okay? It's very Italian. Okay? When you see it empty, when there's no plants there, the land is starving. It's not eating. Okay? Plants feed the soil. Please remember that I, it's a challenge. It's something I'm going to say it. Maybe you don't believe me. Watch, listen, read, study, and again watch, observe, and watch how when things start growing, more things grow. When you stop things from growing, eventually you you don't even have to try. You can leave it. Nothing will grow there. Removal. Yeah. I have a improved soil structure. I have already made a decision. I have to do the right thing. I have to get 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 the Hadith. <laughs> even if you are to some more for what's our relative, how to deal with a boom boom watch about evaporation. What's a magabana? We are not in the series of more hope. You will talk about Tata, more for what's a magabana, 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 more so those are limited to crop work, so let's say cover, crop out eliminate. Increase diversity in the field. Hmm? More different things, yeah. 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 It, it is a lot of good I never told some people to make up hard work at your hand. Me, I look at the whole the cost of soil prevent. Yeah. 
increase independence of farmers. And Increase local food security. Keep land living all year round. I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not going to be able to do this. Okay, so so I mean we can just go the same way as we were doing there. So maybe we go one at a time. Yeah. So this is also I like to work with this. What? Why? How? Okay. If you don't know what you're doing, why you're doing it, and how you're doing it, there's no way you can do something. Okay. So how do we do cover crops? You plant, if wherever possible, you plant three or more types of crops. Again, diversity. So we're talking there grain, legume, root, as an example. Different groups of plants. Yeah. They help one another. They support one another. Okay. Um, it's not a monoculture. <coughs> you mentioned lab lab. Yeah. Lab lab is an excellent cover crop. Yeah. Okay. It's also a legume. Okay. Very hardy. Plant closely. Okay. That's what we were talking. You're planting closer than you would normally plant if you were growing your crop for consumption. Why? Because we want to cover the land. We are not growing for the, 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 the harvest. We are growing to cover the land when it's growing and also when we cut it or stamp it, it should cover. Okay? We are <coughs> feeding the soil, not ourselves. I give. Yes. Mix the crops together. Dimix it. Hasi block ya midi. Block ya dinawa. Block ya beetroot. Nya. Dimix it. Dimawa. They are close together because they are sharing underground. Okay? Midi. They are trade. Okay? Rotate cover crops with yield crops. So this year on this block, the tajwala di cover crop. Next year, no, why am I saying it? Team maize, what's maize? Yeah, yeah. Midi. 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 Midi and midi, what am I saying wrong? It's the same word. It's the same word. It's not the same word, but they say midi and midi. Midi. You know, yeah. Midi. So it's the midi. Midi and midi. Double M. No, I Double M and then single M. So single M. Midi. Midi. Roots. Double M. Okay. Midi. <laughs> That's it. <coughs> so you're going to grow your crop one year and then you're going to maybe plant your cover crop the next year for that block and then otlar rotate. Okay? Yeah. Graze or slash your cover crops to return fertility to the soil surface and to cover the soil. Okay? So once they've grown now they start to die this way. Like I'm saying either you chop it, you can roll it Okay, or you can stamp it, or you can never burn it. Not fire, please. Mm -hmm. Then you undo everything. You lose everything. Every time we burn, gone. Start from zero. Okay. Collect seeds for the next season. Okay. If we are careful, we buy once. <coughs> then you have your seeds for life. Okay, 
we pay once and then we grow from there and if you start small you can buy one bag in three years time you've got you're now selling to your neighbors thank you because also as you grow that crop over and over on your land the plant you are selecting the strongest plants for your land yeah, yeah. it's like livestock don't just bring cementala it's not for here thank you we breathe our own for our conditions you select the strong ones the weak ones leave them okay yeah and observe your land observe your plants and your animals and learn how to do next better next season i'm talking we used to listen i was talking to we used to listen Re <laughs>
nyame karabo ke o ne ne ke e boletsa mo gore tsana re ha rotle me go thata gore re re me re botse potso e tsana ke ditse me o ne rotle ha ne ke boletsa bantu gore ba kgolo go tsana ne na na ke siane tlokolo bua ka tsogo na ke siane ka gore ke siane ke <laughs> But I would to confirm what I'm hearing is the way I think of it it's like as above so below. So we are talking here about crops. We are talking about diversity. We are talking about how actually plants help one another. Yes. It's the same in the human community. Yes. What we are talking about underground it's the same with us. And you don't stand alone. You cannot stand alone. And the culture out there is you must stand alone. It's not the culture of Africa. No. How do you know? You're not alone. You cannot be alone. One person is not a person. I give. Yeah. We are people by being together. And when we try and stand alone, we lose that. We become something other than you. And so what what i'm talking about here is just the technical i give but exactly what you're saying is it is about the community the human community makes this technical possible from the start without community it's very difficult to achieve these things yeah yeah where if we can use our community to start to observe the land we talk about what are we seeing on the land When it rained, what happened on your farm? What happened on my farm? What happened at Matsane farm? Those seeds which we planted there last week, how are they this week? What can it teach me about my land? How to do it better next time? We have to communicate, we have to work together. We have to share our resources in order to bring everything up together. And like we've done today, where you bring singarapile singapari singapari thank you singapari i always say it singarapile singapari 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 yes why to tanya ta bula jang yeah so 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 i get ram eh nya ke a itse i'm going to cook like this jamo i get then riai to tammo yes khape we are learning to listen to one another yes yeah to speak our different languages but also to speak the language alifatsi oh because we are losing that language that's right. we are forgetting how to listen and how to talk to our land i was talking to dips yesterday about animals yeah yeah and how we've got bush encroachment the grazing is going It's not like the grandfather's time there was there was more grass here there were more animals here but we've forgotten how to speak to our land we need to learn while we still have some old people to teach us because young people like me i don't my grandfather didn't i didn't even meet my grandfather so how can i learn i have to learn to speak directly to the soil and to listen to the elders yeah. yeah yeah so that's what just from my personal it's very exciting to me to see we've got grandfathers we've got grandmothers we've got uncles we've got fathers we've got youngsters we've got teenagers we've got babies yeah. all together on the land today to me that's very important that is powerful and wonderful that is community yeah yeah le bora ba
So now I'm going to stop talking. Please keep the conversation going. The conversation is open. Today, tomorrow, in the future. That's what Matsuani is here for. And please, let's keep on learning from the experiments we do here. Okay. 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 Come <laughs> Holema <laughs> To collect seeds from the next season. O Gare Camuso, I already meet. Self-independent. To observe, or go level la or ani mahau ki boni timu, ani mahau tan ki tahuna. Haro ne ki boni kijiza sebe, amahau tan ki tahuna sebe na hapa ki tahuna ti dinsi ki na ki tahuna ti kote kotas. Haro ne msa ni ya miluwa mi bo, wala miluwa ru, baba ni ana wajwa karoka, raba kiti Mr. Mola wajwa karoka. Well, I Mira how jeti o o ka bakantse. Ibe lo tsaku dikana na le mua ga go. Dikana na go gaisa o dirisite ne no ntse le re kwa ka gona. Ha o tokete ne five. Na ke le motho re ka tsa. Ile bela le tsiya ke rano ke thu. Ka ndi ke five. Ka ba ka. Ya ni ke ne ba ba ndara tshe. Ha sa ka le tso. Ka ndi go dirisiwa di shwa. Aje. Right. Yeah. 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 Y
so it's standing you have to put it down it's going to add fertilizer from to the soil. Yeah, we get some on sunny with a sham. I don't think we are not done. I don't think we are not done. I said I'm not going to speak. Can I just put one thing in? Yeah. Many of these things. Do we recognize them from the traditional way of doing? Yeah, yeah we're doing them. I heard they used to open the gates and close the gates. Yeah. Is that a yeah. The season is finished, bring the cattle in. Yes. They eat the crop, they put the manure down. Mm -hmm. To everything there is a season. Yes. They talk about that in the Bible, but where does that come from? Traditional ways. Okay. So it's traditional and new together. Many of those old ways were very, very important. In actuality, this is actually it looks like it's reverting to the other ways. Yeah, in some ways, yeah. yeah because like right now you're seeing plant, uh, plants closely together. Yeah. Whereas uh, in the past, we were told to actually create spaces between the plants. Why? Because of chemicals and yeah. because of machines. <laughs> because it benefited the tractor to get in between. Yeah. 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 You put the space yeah. in the yeah. yeah. Because you were yeah. using yeah. fertilizers and chemicals and herbicides yeah. to, to, to support that yeah. factory yeah. farming. Yeah. Yeah. Like I'm saying, factory farming lasts yeah. for five, yeah. maybe yeah. ten years yeah. in good yeah. soil. In our soils, two years. Go and look. Go and look. You don't have to listen to me. Observe. <laughs> Observe. Taliban. <laughs> Even driving here between here and Bintulitao, yeah. you pass some fields which are going full industrial agriculture. You know what that land looked before. You know the animals it could support, the life it could support. Watch that land. See what happens there. Look at the yield. Yeah. We must learn from the good and from the bad. Yeah. No. Yeah, that's all I have under. That's all I have. Oh no, thank you very much. I think you know. I 
Okay, he's making up. He's here. 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 Uh, no, next time, make everything before lunch. Like, no, class time for lunch for me. No, I got, I got my labor from you. Too much too much you learned by doing. You learned by doing. <laughs> Who ate the body? Yeah. Who ate it? Who ate it in the body? It was nice, like yeah. you Give me some volume. Give me some volume. Give me some volume. Okay, do you want to see the other Mr. Mulamati? Come on, 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 come I came a little bit late. Please forgive me. Next time I'll make sure I come in time. Hey. Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir. 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 All I'm saying uh, is that um, the little time that I came here, I'm able to pick up some things that I didn't know. But next time, I'll make sure that I come well in time. It's too unfortunate. I was committed. I, I, I couldn't do anything. Um... Let me ask you, gentlemen, to next time when you present something like this, let me know so that I can invite some people who will be able to come and take part, let alone um, give us a lecture or two. Not that you are not giving us a lecture. Get me loud and clear. <laughs> At least three It's so educative. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. We might try and let our, uh, to inform and invite Bailong Horobana Le Kichonyana Ekalo Ya Yatelo. Ke kasa nga jeli nito moro na rilipa cha ano. Mike. Tukulo. Ira nga ano. Ha? Tukulo. Yes, Mr. Chris. I keep on saying I'm going to stop. This I promise is my last. I want to say thank you so much. You saw I'm getting very emotional when I talk about the generations. Okay. To me, I want to thank the grandfathers amongst us for coming and sharing not just your knowledge and your experience. You brought trees. You brought seeds. You came with something in your hands. That is very powerful. I want to thank the ladies, the mothers, and the grandmothers who came to come and learn and share with us. We need ladies in this Women and agriculture are together, okay? Somehow, it became a man's game. How can fertility be a man's game? It doesn't make sense, okay? It has to be men and women together. Uh, I want to also thank all the young people who came. Agriculture and young people go together. Somehow, it's old men on fields now. We need, if we don't have young people in agriculture, in community development, we're lost. If all the young people just think that life is about BMWs and, and golfs and brpas, um, we're lost. So, you know, I really want to thank everybody who has come. And I also want to thank the Matwane team. 
Mike, Ips, Chris, Crystal, for making these events possible for all of us. For everybody to learn, everybody to feel a bit of community. Really, it's a powerful thing. And, and I think everybody needs to thank everybody. Everybody can turn to the left and say, thank you so much. And turn to the right and say, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Yeah, Mr. Chris, the table is yours. The table is yours. Thank you, thank you. So, thank you to everybody who came. And my name is Chris, you haven't heard from me today. I'm the Managing Director of Maswani. And I'd also like to say a big thank you to Anderson here. Stand up. He is one of our founding directors, actually. It's uh, Anderson and his wife, Alec Anani, who couldn't be here today, who are the reason that Matswani exists, because I've been friends with Ala for five years on the internet, and we met through our uh, jobs and so on that we were doing. And she said, you know, you should come to Botswana. People think that we're a rich country, but actually it's, it's not. You know, this is the perception. Botswana is such a quiet country internationally. Um, so I wanted to, to do something. And then finally, during the lockdown of 2020, we started talking about different opportunities that, that, that may arise from, from land here. Now, the reason that we chose up this side is not just because it's an area of, of, of vulnerability, which it is because these soils are very fragile, as you've heard today. It's also because this is the kind of land that people are likely to be allocated from the land board. And Botswana is unique in that sense. Most of the people on the planet do not have this kind of land. I don't own any land. I don't even own a house or, or an apartment. I have to rent because the, even though I'm relatively, perhaps your perception of me might be that I've got money, the problem is that even people like me in Europe and North America that, that have an income, we still cannot afford to buy. So, so the Botswana are very fortunate, actually, in that sense. But the challenge is the environment here is very harsh and it's very difficult. So the idea of Matswani is not to say, oh, look, you know, what, what can you do when you've got lots of money? No. Yes, of course, we, we had some, some, we were very lucky with some donations and we were able to secure some land and fence it off. But the, the techniques that we're showing you here don't require a whole lot of money. It requires your time, your energy, your motivation. But I hope that you'll see that as time goes on. So I hope that that came across. Does anyone need a translation? I'll see if, if anyone needs a translation of what I said. A translation. That we don't necessarily need money to do what we're doing here. Yes, the charity raised funds to fence. I know that a lot of people in the village are telling me they don't have the money for the fence. But you don't necessarily need all of that in order to show you the techniques that we're that we're doing here. Mm <laughs> So I'm, I'm sorry that it's taken me a while to learn Setswana. It is a very, very hard language. I cannot roll my R's. So I cannot say it, ra, say ra, like this. But I tell you, I am, I am reading. A guy lent me um, a book, actually, on Setswana phrases. And one of the most interesting things I find about your language is that money, madi, means blood. 
And the word you use for your cash is pula, which means rain. Yeah, money flows. And the way to think about your local community is that it's like an organ in the body. It needs that blood. You need to spend the money locally on local farmers, buy local produce, buy from one another. I see a lot of people driving down to Gabs. They're buying choppies. They're buying from these big chain stores. You're, you're sending your Mahdi away from the community. You want to keep your Mahdi here. Keep the blood close to the organ. The city gets its strength from the village. That's how cities get to grow. That's how all the cities in Europe grew, was because of those provinces, the farmers that fed the soldiers, that fed the army. So there's a, a lot of power in the local community. You just have to, to, to appreciate that and see that. So again, I have to say thank you. I have to say thank you to Mark Horsey in the village for helping support us. She gave us tables. She continues to support us with accommodation in the village. And to the Lissedi support group, I understand a lot of you are coming from there. Um, Simon as well, who just has been so good for us, giving us like helping with community liaison and also helping to supervise on the farm. And to the boys and to Juliet, Mimani, Auntie Juliet, <laughs> uh, for, for the food today. It was excellent food, by the way. We should also say thank you, clap for the chef. The master chef, the master chef. Um, and thank you to Guy from Camp Hill, and thank you to my lovely wife, Crystal, um, who supervises and helps us so much. So thank you to everybody. All right? <sighs> okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tiene la borre. Tiene la rompida, no. Y voy a decir, y voy a lavar el pino. Es de esta casa. Ah, va. We're going to do some interviews with some people. We're going to do some interviews. Some quick interviews. We're going to do some quick interviews with people. Yeah, just quick recordings. And then we're going to start taking people back in the truck in about 20 minutes. Is that right? So you can close out, put some music on. Wind down. Huh? You don't know. You want to keep going? <laughs> he wants to keep going. Yeah, it would be good to get some feedback. Good, good to get some feedback on the camera. Yeah, it would be good to get some feedback on the camera. No, no. Okay. Would you be okay to drop the village? Who? Yeah. You can take other stuff. Wonderful stuff. No, we will take it. Sure. All right. Some music. Wind down. Mr. Bolovati. The other one is the one that I'm going to go to. How are you playing with the other one? I'm going to go to the other one. 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 Sesetabeni え、Mota pelo nyalo na ketwa lele, kisa tswa lepe to, 
ele foi levado a lhe sentir a um piano, que é lá, aí aí vai ele mudar, mudar mora isso, ele mudar mora, mudar mora o galera lá, reagir o corpo, 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 mudar mora o galera lá, Mais qu'il n'y a pas d'autre chose, moi je suis venu à l'aise de la vie de la vie de la vie. Et ce qu'on s'est fait avec la vision de la vie de la vie, c'est que nous sommes venus à l'aise de la vie de la vie de la vie. Amen. 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 So, could you tell us, tell us your name? Say a bit louder. And where are you from? From Bitsia in Kwaneng District, in Botswana. Yes, yes. And uh, how did you enjoy today? I enjoyed very much. I have learned a lot. And what would you say stood out for you? What did you learn today? If you could name one thing. Um, I learned how to how to grow crops, particularly cover crops. Cover crops. Cover crops. Yeah. And do you own land yourself? Mm. No, I don't have. You don't. I normally grow in backyard. Oh, in backyard. Home. So you have a garden? No, I just have a a small a little one here. For my tree, I'm planting a tree. Yeah. So what do you grow? I, for now, I have um, peaches. Peaches. Moana tree, baobab tree, big one. Oh, nice, and, nice. And lawn. Yes. And how did you hear about this today? This workshop. Mm -hmm. He advertised that. Ah, because Mike <laughs> advertised, that's great. Would you recommend this to a friend? No. You wouldn't? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> no, we will. You will, you <laughs> will. All right. Yeah. No, that's great. Thank you very much. You're Thank you. <laughs> Dumela. Dumela. What's your name? Ripu Osmani. And where are you from? I'm from Medea. In Kwenang District, Botswana. Kwenang. Yes. Yes, yes. And uh, did you? How did you enjoy today on Matswani Farm? Um, I'm going to speak Sana. Yes, of course. Ah, you to make that that we don't express for all our retard molasses that we make because for no one na do a different farm like any other. We follow our team. We are team. We are in Katle that. Le kahani kete le kate ngi bile kete like what tell like it's like you to make that that we go out there we will go Spend the whole day. Zama wana kisarobana. Nkisa kwa yangu karuna kuteke wake sarobana. Kitu mere kitu mere se tata 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 wewe hita sala kanya ukawari. Kuhu no hule muha kawari. Hasoro hule ma kuhu ngaka la hela hule ma kadi tonki liyo kumaka botu ana kama kulo kulo mole. Kuhu no hule ma mahu easy hela mahu mtu kwenye na hela. Yeah. And what's the most important thing you learned today? Ah, kitu tila kawari. Kora kora matla kala. The rubbish is. We can now do a man. You are okay. You are not. We 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 are not. Ah, o cara leza fala muda com ele tá? Ah, tá, 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 tá. Então vale leza tá, tá. Ele quer a roupa talvez o com a cima o cara. Mas onde lá enquanto quando ele trocou na sessão de regalar enquanto quando ele lá, o homem trocou, 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 trocou. Ele trocou o que ele trocou, trocou o que ele trocou. Fantástico. Thank you. Thank you very much. Dumela. Dumela, right? How are you? I'm good. Good thing. Yeah. And I wanted to ask you, how did you enjoy today on Matsuani Farm? I've been enjoying here. You liked it? I liked it. And uh, I've learned some, uh, I've learned a lot about uh, in your farm. 
like I've seen a beautiful toilet. Beautiful toilet? Uh, you liked it? I've ever seen in life. What did you like about it? Um, the way it is designed. Yeah. Oh. It's a composting toilet. Yes. Sir. It doesn't go into a latrine. Oh. Did they tell you? Did Mr. Guy tell you? And uh, when it comes to the the field, I understood that uh, some of the things I didn't know, like uh, planting three types of seed in like, one hole. It was my first time to see that. Uh huh. Oh. So, what was the most important thing you learned today? Uh, even the <laughs> what do you call this? Mm -hmm. The the the, uh, the compost that manure they use inside the, oh, the, oh. the, the which may not be may not be the worms, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's called vermicast. Uh -huh. Yeah, vermicast. Yeah. yeah. So that was the most important thing you learned today. <laughs> would Would you recommend one of these workshops to a friend? Sorry. Would you recommend one of these workshops to a friend? Yes, I will. Yes, I will. I will. <laughs> <laughs> hey, talk to talk to us. Huh? You can speak in Saswana. Mm, okay. When I go to the village there, I'm going to teach some of my friends about this plant thing. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I will even arrange them to come oh, yeah. and see. It's really uh, it's appreciable. I like it. You can see myself, facial expression. I'm so happy. That thing is really motivating. This good initiative, we will do it in future so that the generation will find it. Oh, yes, yeah, I like it. You could also say it in Setswana. Setswana. Oh. Say it right from the beginning in Setswana. Yeah? It's Setswana. Yeah. Yeah. It's Tumela Tata. Lebatuana <laughs> I really appreciate what you've done today. God bless my Chinese. I like it. Cheers. Yeah. <laughs>